So the cow in the meadow goes moo. So the cow in the meadow goes moo. And the goat in the shed goes bad. And the goat in the shed goes bad. And the chicken in the barn goes click click click. And the chicken in the barn goes click click click. But what kind of a sound do you think a vegetable makes? I mean, if a vegetable could make a sound, what do you think it would sound like? Horns up and welcome to my unimpressive weight loss transformation where this week I am eating only vegetarian food. Welcome to Headbangers Kitchen folks. My name is Sahil. I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. And stick around till the end of this video to find out how you can win a copy of my book and I'll also be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. Let the vlogs begin. Oh, and smash that like button if you like vegetarian food. Hey guys, since today is Sunday and I'm going to start my vegetarian week from tomorrow, which is Monday, I thought it's best to have a beef burger for lunch today. So I've got myself the exact same smash burger which I had last week with some truffle fries. I was like, you know what, before I do the vegetarian week, Let's eat something that's meaty but not chicken breast. So I've got myself this delicious smash burger and I'm going to go and dig in now. Good morning guys. It's the first day of my week of eating vegetarian food. And when I say a week, I mean six days, Monday to Saturday. Anyway, I weighed myself this morning and I was 70 kilos. So my weight just jumped up. Hey, you know, weight fluctuations happen. So it's nothing to be alarmed about. I'm pretty sure it will go back down tomorrow. But I'm starting my day with a keto breakfast cup. This is a vegetarian breakfast cup. It's just egg with some almond flour and cheese. You'll find the recipe on Headbangers Kitchen sooner rather than later. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this now. And let the veggie week begin. Hey guys, so Dipti has made some delicious black dal for lunch today. And she's also made some sourdough bread. Are you excited about my vegetarian week? Yes! Fake enthusiasm. It is, no? I'm excited to see if you get through it. Alright. A man who lives for meat. Okay, do you think I will survive six days? You will survive, but will you be happy? Will you truly, truly be happy? Well, will your soul be nourished? Well, hopefully my stomach will be nourished because you'll make delicious hey, food. You will be fully nourished. Yes. But your brain, I can't speak for it. All right. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how this week turns out. But I'll check in with you guys once I'm eating lunch. Hey guys, so I'm here making some jeera rice for my lunch to eat along with the kali dal that Dipti has made. And I'm also cooking up some green beans to go with lunch. So that's all the cooking I'm doing today. So I'm still formulating my menu for the week. But knowing me, I think I'm going to end up winging most of it. But anyway, let's see how we go. So far it seems cool. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I am excited actually. I am very excited. Yeah. Anyway, catch you later. Time for lunch and to taste the delicious dal that Dipti has made. Mm. Smoky, creamy, tangy and delicious. Yum. I'm just really enjoying these juicy pieces of chicken in my biryani. Mm. As you can see, Dipti is having biryani from yesterday and she is tormenting me. Mm. I did not think I would desire the meat oh, so soon. It's just melt in your mouth chicken side. So beautifully spiced and flavored. Oof. As you can tell, I'm not amused. I'm already wanting the chicken from her plate, but I will be strong. So good. I hope I can get through seven days, six days, six days. Anyway. And just like that, day one comes to an end. And you know what? Despite the bit of temptation in the afternoon, I'm doing pretty good. You know, in the evening, I had some dhokla. I had a little sourdough with cheese on it, satiated. And then for dinner, I had uh, two sourdough toasts with some feta and some olives and a little bit of marinara sauce and some scrambled eggs with that. 
and then for dessert I had some watermelon and a little bit of uh, sticky toffee date pudding that was there in the fridge so all in all a pretty good day and I didn't miss the meat except at lunch as you saw where Dipti was tempting me but yeah it's just day one so let's see how the rest of the week goes anyway I'll check in with you tomorrow good morning guys it's raining again and do you remember these these are those protein cookies that I made and I've taken them out of the freezer and I'm going to be eating half of this for breakfast today probably have a toast as well and Dipti has helped me make a menu for this week so we've written that out we've stuck it on the fridge we're going to try and follow that and make vegetarian week exciting and interesting And Dipti is hard at work. When am I not hard at work? You're always hard at work. What are you doing? I am making the marinade for the paneer kali mirch tikka that we are eating in the evening. Oh wow. And Dipti has also made some... What is this? Bottle gourd. Ivy gourd. Ivy gourd for her lunch. And I will eat yesterday's leftovers. The green beans. Spices, fried onions, cashews for soaking. Wow! Smell that. Can you guys smell it? This is so good. Smells like it. So good. Anyway, we're gonna go eat lunch now, which is leftovers. Bye. Hey guys, so I just finished a workout in the gym, came home, had a shower, and now it's time for dinner. And for dinner, I am having some paneer kati rolls, which Dipti is whipping up for me. She has been slaving all day over a hot stove to make world-class paneer kati rolls because she is very invested in me enjoying vegetarian week. So she's busy cooking up a storm. But yeah, I'm excited to try the kati roll. She went online. She found a recipe. She's worked very hard at these rolls. Anyway, we're gonna go and enjoy dinner and I'll check in with you later. Good morning guys. Last night, I don't know what happened to me, but I was ravenous. I actually ended up eating two kati rolls and I weighed myself this morning and I was 70.3 kilos. So obviously I have been packing on the calories. Vegetarian food is not low calorie because those parathas, they were like, I think 250 calories each paratha and then there's the paneer and I had some chips and I've just been eating bread and butter so yeah I, I've got to cut down my calories so today I've skipped breakfast I have just had some watermelon and I've also put those protein cookies away in the freezer because they are like a dessert and it's like 300 calories each cookie so I'm going to just go easy today on the food and for the rest of the week because I definitely don't want to be gaining weight on the vegetarian week. Anyway, I'm going to go now, catch you later. So, got some chole for lunch and some chapatis, didn't feel like cooking so got it from this place below our building called Neelam and Dipti has also made some fresh chapatis but we got to finish these first. Yeah, so that's lunch. It looks pretty good, yeah? Look at that. Chole. Good morning guys. I was feeling hungry this morning and I wanted to have some breakfast with a reasonable amount of protein in it so I went online and I looked at the available restaurants and I found one that had this sandwich this is a spinach and corn sandwich with some cheese and it has 19 grams of protein so I ordered it and it's only like 230 calories so yeah ordered breakfast today for the first time despite there being a lot of bread at home I had no fillings to put into it that I thought would be high protein enough anyway Not bad. So I wanted a snack and I couldn't rustle up anything vegetarian which would have a good amount of protein in it 
and I would just end up eating bread and egg again. So I ordered myself a paneer wrap, a Mediterranean paneer wrap, which is not too many calories and has a decent amount of protein. So, hmm, pretty good pesto. Hmm, lemon, yum. Good morning, guys. Another day of vegetarian food weighed myself this morning and i was 69.8 kilos so the weight is not really moving much on the scale uh, and i guess that's because i've been eating a lot last night for dinner i had some scrambled eggs on sourdough toast i had some raw cucumber carrot and beets and i had some caramel custard that dipti made and this morning for breakfast i had half a keto blueberry muffin all vegetarian and uh, yeah i'll see you guys at lunch Alright guys, so I got my lunch here. It's from a place called True Fit Gourmet. And I wanted something high protein, so I got this. Ooh, looks good. Very neatly packaged. So it looks pretty good. Let's dig in. No, not very good. Bread is dry. Tofu doesn't taste great. I mean, it's tofu. I'll eat it, but yeah, not that good. Sucky lunch. I should have stuck with Chinese food me and my quest to find a high protein vegetarian meal and i have just broken a lovely le creuset ramekin and destroyed this caramel custard by trying to remove it with brute force i am such an idiot damn that's a waste of food and cookware hey guys if you know me you know just how much I hate wasting food. But I just could not eat that sandwich. It was way too spicy. The bread was way too dry. So I just had to throw it. I tried to salvage as much as I could. I ate some of the rocket from inside. I ate some of the tomatoes. I tried to scrape off some of the hummus. And I had a slice of dipti sourdough. But yeah not a good idea i think i'm going to stick to ordering from restaurants i know and not worry about this high protein uh, macro because it doesn't make sense you know it's just it's not working out you know what i'm saying it's not you it's me and now i'm going to eat some of dipti's caramel custard which i managed to get out of the bowl without destroying the ramekin and i that really sucks because i got that for Dipti as a present and now I've broken one of them and I don't think you get that same uh, ramekin separately so yeah anyway I'm gonna go now I'm going to my parents house in the evening we'll be eating pizza there for dinner it'll be a vegetarian pizza and I'll check in with you tomorrow because I just I'm in a bad mood now it's just all this shit that's gone wrong is put me in a bad mood so I'm gonna go hey guys my last and final day of being vegetarian and i've got my lunch here with me i took no chances today i ordered myself some chinese food i said forget about trying to find a high protein meal just eat vegetarian food so i've got myself some egg fried rice here and i've got some stir fried chinese greens with black mushrooms and last night went to my parents place we had pizza i had a mushroom pizza it was delicious and this morning I weighed myself, I was 69.8. So the last three days my weight has stayed the same. And I made sure I skipped breakfast today. I just had some watermelon because I knew that lunch was going to be heavy. And probably for dinner, I don't know, we might order something again. I'll try and not snack later on in the day, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy my lunch now. Delicious egg fried rice and black mushrooms and Chinese greens. Yummy. Mm, good stuff hey guys so it's my final vegetarian meal of the week and I decided to be safe and I ordered myself a burger a delicious mushroom burger with some matcha fries from my favorite place Asian burger kitchen by Sifa and yeah I can't wait to dig in this burger looks absolutely incredible I can't wait to taste it guys mmm Oh wow, crispy, crunchy, all over my face and my mustache, but so delicious guys. 
I'm gonna go and enjoy my mushroom burger and yeah wipe the stuff off my face and just like that my friends another week is over and while most of the food that I ate was absolutely delicious I have to be honest I'm really looking forward to getting back to eating some meat now I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.7 kilos which means I gained 0.2 kilos or 0.4 pounds so you can pretty much say that my weight has stayed consistent the vegetarian food didn't really impact my weight gain or my weight loss especially given that I was not counting calories but there are a couple of things we need to talk about so let's get into it now let's talk about protein which is something I really struggled with this week and that's because most vegetarian food does not have a lot of protein and I'm sure you're going sahil but what about paneer and tofu and the lentils yes all these foods have protein but how much protein do they have so let's talk about this now uh, I'm someone who's right now trying to build muscle so I'm looking to get close to 100 grams of protein every day and with lentils and with uh, paneer and with eggs and with uh, even uh, what else is there basically all these foods tofu it's very very difficult and I'll explain why so a regular chicken breast yeah 100 grams of a chicken breast has 31 grams of protein now when you look at say chickpeas chickpeas 100 grams of boiled chickpeas has only 9 grams of protein 100 grams of boiled lentils most of them have around 7 to 9 grams of protein tofu has 8 grams of protein per 100 grams and paneer has 19 grams of protein but it has so much fat in it also eggs have only 6 grams of protein and 5 grams of fat so what this does is it makes the food very calorie dense you know like if you want to eat like four or five eggs to get your protein and you have to eat only egg whites and you guys know I hate eating only egg whites so you know that just doesn't make sense for me to throw away yolks and waste it I don't like wasting food also paneer very very high calorie even chickpeas you know I bought that uh, chole masala chana masala it was 330 calories per 100 grams of that of that chana so what happens is a lot of this vegetarian food is extremely calorie dense and that also explains why vegetarians are fat you know people who say oh if you're vegetarian or vegan you can't get fat no you can because high fat and high carbs makes a high calorie food which makes you eat in a calorie surplus which makes you fat so you know that explains a, a lot of things to me now yes I could have had protein powder and gotten my protein requirement for the day but you guys already know I don't like protein powder in fact I have done a whole week of eating protein powder click here on the i button and check out that video so getting a sufficient amount of protein on a vegetarian meal plan for me personally was a struggle but having said that if you are not looking to build muscle if you are okay to just get the baseline protein requirement that a normal man or a woman requires to live and function and survive yes you can probably get that on a vegetarian diet and I think maybe if you really sit down and find out all the high protein sources and you work out a plan maybe you can definitely get the amount of protein you need but just doing it like this for a week I struggled with it now let's talk about my hunger because I was hungry all the time and when I say I was hungry I don't mean like I was ravenous and starving but I was constantly looking for food and feeling peckish and I and I attribute a large part of that to not having sufficient protein in each meal of mine so most of my meals were very carb heavy and they had a, a reasonable amount of fat as well and that kept me nibbly peckish so I was always looking for something to snack on I did my best to eat more fruits more raw vegetables like those were the things I tried to snack on more but I definitely found myself more hungry on this vegetarian week than on say when I was eating chicken breast every day like when I ate chicken breast every day I was satiated but on this week I was a bit hungry and I want to talk about my energy levels and my training in the gym so I had enough energy like I did my five kilometer walks every alternate day but in the gym I felt less strong you know like I couldn't lift as much weight as I normally do I felt a little less strong 
and I also didn't go to the gym all three days. I only went twice this week. I don't know if that had anything to do with the vegetarian food, but I definitely felt a little decline in strength. Maybe it was in my head, maybe it was not, but that's how I felt. So now that vegetarian week is over, what is next for me? Well, I think for the next week or two, I'm going to go back to my old way of eating, which is the chicken rice for lunch and maybe wraps or something for dinner. Just more normal eating. But if you guys have any ideas for food challenges that I can do, like how I did this vegetarian week, like how I did a week of eating chicken breast, if you've got any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments and I might actually do it because that's me. And anyway, let me know how your week has been, guys. Did you have a good week? How has your weight loss progress been? Let me know in the comments below. All right, folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And the person who has won my book, Keto Life, is Diane Verdon, who had the wittiest comment on last week's video and had got seven upvotes. So congratulations, Diane. You won a copy of my book, Keto Life. And send me an email on headbangerskitchen at gmail.com and I can send you your copy of the book. Now folks, let me know in the comments below if you prefer this new way of picking the winner where the person with the wittiest comment and the most upvotes on that comment wins or would you rather I go back to the pick a random winner kind of uh, you know giveaway. Let me know in the comments below because your feedback is important to me. Anyway folks that's been enough jibber jabber from me. I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then cheers and keep cooking.